guys, Blahin here from A Style of Living. Today is Tidy Thursday and I'm going to share with you eight ways and eight products that you can organize a small wardrobe. I have a very small wardrobe and I share that with my husband. And in this wardrobe, I store um, clothes, handbags, shoes, jewelry, cosmetics and mementos. So first I'm going to share with you eight things and eight ways that I keep that uh, wardrobe organized and then I'm going to bring you upstairs and actually show you how I'm using them in person. So the first thing that I like to use are velvet hangers. I recently replaced um, all of my hangers with, all, uh, with these for every piece of clothing that I own. I actually threw at all the other hangers I have. And the reason for this being, not only one, is it visually great, it also means that everything is on a slim, easy hanger. Because they're these velvet ones, it doesn't fall off. All my um, clothes and all my husband's clothes stay put as well. Um, I also particularly like, obviously with any hanger, they come in all different shapes and sizes. I like the black ones myself, they just appeal. They come in all colors, but I particularly like this version that offers me multiple uses. So you can see here, obviously you can hang a shirt, a jacket, a cardigan, whatever you might like. It also has a little loops for um, string vests or for holding on dresses, things like this. And you can also hang um, sort of scarves or trousers or shorts or anything like that on it as well. I also love um, its sort of twin or cousin, which comes like this, very, very similar, except you'll probably notice two distinct differences, and that is this little area here and this little um, hook here. And the reason I love these, particularly when I'm um, ironing, is that you can hang them in a drop like this. And obviously this is also great for um, putting together outfits and things like that. I love these ones in particular for my husband because it means he can add his ties in here as well or if you've got small shawls or scarves that you want to put with an outfit as well, they're really, really great. <clears throat> so the second thing that I love to use are accessory hangers. Again, these come in a variety of different shapes and colors. I particularly like these black velvet ones, obviously to match my other hangers. Here you can see I'm clearly using them to hang all of my belts. I also use um, these as well for costume necklaces, costume jewelry necklaces as well. The third item that I use in my wardrobe is one of these jewelry organizers. You're probably all familiar with these. This one in particular does front and back. It takes rings, bracelets, watches, necklaces, anything you want. Again, this is great for costume jewelry and pieces that I might wear sort of a little bit more regularly than my good jewelry. I like this one because it's got a cream background, so it's very, very easy. Something's just popped out. It's very, very easy to see everything and also because the covers are clear as well. Now, all of these products are generally available from a variety of different places. I buy most of mine in the likes of Penny's, Home Store for More, Ikea, places like that. And they obviously range in price as well, but generally you're looking at no more than a couple of euro, less than five euro for the likes of the jewelry organizer and the accessory hangers. And then the velvet hangers themselves, they normally come in packs of either five, 10 or 20 and range in price, depending on the sale at the time, from like 5 99 a pack up until about 19 99 a pack. So they generally, in my experience, work out at about a euro per hanger for the likes of the velvet hangers. The next item that I like to use in my wardrobe are these storage boxes. And these ones I got in Ikea and they are the Scub range, I think that's S-K-U-B-B. -B. Um, and you get six of these in three different sizes for seven euro. And you can see here, I've got, um, I'm storing some of my handbags in them. So these are my smaller handbags. Um, that I probably wouldn't use sort of very, very regularly. And you'll see um, why I store them in this when I show you, them, uh, show you where they are stored in my wardrobe. And the next thing I use are a different selection 
of decorative boxes similar to this one. Again, this is one of Ikea's ones, but I have a whole host of other ones that you'll see when we go up to my wardrobe. And in these, I store, generally it's like spares, like spare makeup or my miniatures for when I travel or mementos or different things, sort of like some I might have some of my husband's belt book. Belt, belt buckles in, things like that. So smaller items and as you can see you can also label them as well so it's very quick and very easy to see straight away what's inside. I also use a number of baskets and again you can see I label each of them as well. These baskets I have, I think it's about four of these in my wardrobe and they all contain um, different sort of beauty products or makeup products and again I have them all labelled and um, so it's very quick, very easy. These I bought in Home Store for more and I think they were about $4.99 each. Another product that I use are these clear and foldable shoe storage boxes. So there's obviously a number of shoes that I wear regularly and they are sort of easy to access and out in my wardrobe so that I can just pull them out if and when I want to use them. The rest of my shoes are stored in these boxes to protect them and also to make storing a little bit easier. But the reason I love these particular clear and foldable uh, boxes is you can see how simple and easy they are to actually put together. They also have a handy little hanger, handle. and um, They're clear so you can see straight away what pair of shoes inside and also means they don't get covered in dust. These are also excellent for storing things like hats and scarves and gloves and things like that, you know, during the summer months that you don't need all the time but you want them sort of put away and easy um, to find and pull out when you need them. The final thing that I use to organize my um, wardrobe that I'm going to share with you today are command hooks. And these I have stuck to the inside of my wardrobe door and I hang off them some of my slightly better jewellery that again that I wear regularly. This wouldn't be expensive jewellery, it would still largely fall into the costume jewellery um, section, but just things that need a little bit more of an individual hanger. So there are the eight sort of products that I use to organise my small wardrobe. So it's really easy to talk about products and how great they are. But now I'm going to bring you upstairs and actually show you how they all function in my small wardrobes. So guys, these are my wardrobes. But they're slightly misleading in that they're not all actually a wardrobe. Just open my wardrobe doors for you and now you can see that things are a little bit different. So here, on the left hand side is the main bulk of our wardrobe and this on top are my clothes and below are my husband's. In the centre here you can see a white door with a little St. Bridget's cross on it and that is actually the doorway into our ensuite bathroom that would have been the second set of double doors when you saw my closed wardrobe. Beside that, on the right hand side, is the storage unit for some of our shoes and behind that at the side that you can't see at the moment is where I keep those baskets full of makeup and beauty products and on top you can see some of our decorative boxes. And then the single wardrobe on the extreme right is where I keep my dresses. So I'm going to bring you a little bit closer now and show you the uh, practical uses I have in particularly in this wardrobe here, for those eight products I shared with you a short while ago. So now we're right inside my main wardrobe. So this is the one that we use probably the most day to day. And as you can see, it is split level. On the top are my clothes and on the bottom are my husband's. And um, you can see I've got all of the black velvet um, hangers in use. I also sort my wardrobe by um, clothes type and then colour. So I start off with sort of jackets, cardigans, boleros, jumpers, sort of little um, long sleeve tops, short sleeve tops and move gradually into sort of stringy vests. Then I have my skirts and my trousers. And here is that... Um, jewellery organiser that I showed you before which actually makes a nice divider between um, my clothes and here's one of those accessory organisers and I have some costume jewellery on it and then my belt at the rear. 
So you can see very sort of simple, very easy. And the one thing I love about sort of, I suppose, segmenting my wardrobe into its clothes type and color, it means it's really easy to put things away. I know exactly where they go. And it also equally means that in the morning getting dressed, it's very quick, very simple, because everything um, is in where it should be. And I do the exact same for my husband as well. Although I will admit he's not as good as maintaining this system, he just tends to put things back wherever he wants. I also keep a selection of spare hangers. Um, so these would be uh, belonging to clothes that perhaps haven't been ironed yet or are in the wash. So I always have a spare set of hangers here so it's very quick and easy to put stuff away um, when it comes back either from the laundry or from the ironing basket. <clears throat> so moving over here to the side you'll see this is where I have a number of command hooks and hanging from these are some of the jewelry pieces that are I suppose slightly costume slightly good and these would be things that I would re re wear <laughs> regularly and you can see so simple and easy I have them staggered here on the inside of the door so once I'm picking an outfit it's very simple to see the accessories that potentially go with it so it's all it's all really in the interest of convenience as well. On the very top of our wardrobe, um, going the whole length of the whole wardrobe, so we have this one single shelf. And up here you'll see those Scub IKEA um, boxes that I showed you earlier on. And these all contain handbags um, of mine, sort of divided into kind of categories, casual, evening wear, beach wear, those kind of things. So very quick, very easy, and simple to find. So you can see it really, really is a very small wardrobe. Um, but very well kind of organized, at least for our purposes. Two other things that I probably should have mentioned to you, but I didn't earlier, is my husband has his own belt buckle, um, or belt, sorry, organizer. This came with our wardrobes, um, which I should probably say our wardrobes were custom made for us by a company called Bedroom Elegance based in Dublin. Um, we had wardrobes in this room when we bought the house that were sort of even smaller and less functional. So we had these, uh, we had those ripped out. They were actually in a different position in the room as well and these installed. So this actually came with the wardrobe. Um, the second thing that my husband uses to organize his uh, area of the wardrobe is one of these tie sort of hangers as well. So very simple, very easy. As you can see, my husband doesn't have a lot of ties, so we don't need a huge amount of storage um, for this. So here we are in the central section of our wardrobe. As you can see, this goes straight through to our ensuite bathroom. Above it, we have that continuation of the shelf, and up here I have some of the decorative boxes that I showed and mentioned to you. So this large one is mementos of the past year that I'm going to turn into a scrapbook at the end of the year. And on the side are some little pink IKEA boxes, and they're filled with spare makeup and miniature sort of products for traveling and that. And then over here, we've got a section for shoes. So this would be the shoes that we use pretty regularly so that they're easy to hand and um, easy to access. You can see a couple of those boxes that I showed you, the clear shoe boxes. The rest of our shoe, shoes are stored in those clear boxes in one of our closets um, over um, in front of our bed. So very sort of easy to access and easy to organize. So here we are at the back of that shoe storage, right beside our ensuite door, and we have another set of um, shelves here. And mostly back here, we've got beauty products and cosmet cosmetics. So you can see here those storage little baskets that I showed you earlier. And here I'm storing things like my nails, it's sort of nail varnish removers, sprays, things like that. I've got a box entirely for my husband because he tends not to have as many beauty products as me. Um, one's for my face, so these are face creams and facials, things like that. Uh, a whole one devoted to tanning, one down here for um, hair, and at the very bottom I have some of those decorative boxes again from Ikea, and those are my nail varnishes and nail equipment for doing uh, my own uh, pedicures and manicures. 
So this is the last section of our wardrobe. This is a single wardrobe and this is predominantly, actually exclusively mine as well. Here at the top you'll see uh, we've got two shelves and I have a selection of handbags. Again, more in those sort of scub Ikea boxes. And panning down, um, here is where I store all of my dresses. So these are mostly sort of day dresses and workwear dresses. My evening dresses I store in one of our um, spare bedroom wardrobes. Uh, they're all sort of packeted up in suitcases and things like that to protect them. I hope you took some inspiration from those eight ways and products, or I suppose 10 with those two extra sort of in my husband's wardrobe area, um, to inspire you to organize um, your own wardrobe. As you can see, the space I have to work with is not big by any manner of means, and still I sort of manage to fit in two people um, sort of pretty ad adequately. Obviously, in addition to our wardrobe space, we do also have chest of drawers and other storage areas as well, but this is the lion's share of our clothes, particularly after we did um, the Conmarie method on our clothes during the summer, and I'll link to that video as well so you can see how much we reduced our clothes by as well. So I hope you enjoyed today, Tidy Thursday's video. And um, please do give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If this is your first time watching, please do subscribe. Next week, I'm going to be sharing with you on Fun Friday. Um, and I'm actually going to share with you the recent uh, Christmas planner that I've just made for myself and how I like to stay organized and why I use one of those um, in the lead up to Christmas to help me with my gift lists, my Christmas cards, decorations and meal plans and things like that. So if you're interested in that, do check it out next Friday. Thanks a million for watching guys and I look forward to sharing with you soon again.